Hey guys, this is Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I want to do a quick video uh, on a few network tools that I use um, in Linux. Um, this will be a good video for all you new users um, that are diving into Linux, uh, and these are just a few commands you need to familiarize yourself with so you can better understand how Linux works and and actually how networks work. Um, um, no matter what operating system you use um, this will help you better understand that so uh, let's jump right in it uh, first command I wanted to go through was a uh, host name and and actually uh, it's a pretty simple command um, this will display the host name of your computer uh, so we can we could type it out and just do the basic command uh, host name this computer is called Athena that's the uh, the host name. So um, we can do the domain name. We can we can look at the domain name by doing dash d. Uh, it's pretty simple. That shows the domain that you have set up. Um, we can also look at the full fully uh, qualified domain name. This will show the name and the domain, the name of the computer and the domain that it's connected to. So, bam, athena.localdomain, cool. And then um, also you can show, you know, like the loopback IP address, which is, I mean, it's, it's normally set uh, 127.0.1.1, so. Um, and then, so that's pretty simple command. That will, you know, kind of help you uh, understand uh, the naming convention. So, uh, next command I wanted to do was ping. Um, it's a pretty simple command. It's on Windows as well. It's on, I believe, yeah, it's on Mac as well. Same thing. Uh, but you can basically check to see if you can connect to, if you're connected to the internet or connected to a network or whatever by pinging. Um, so, you can ping internally, you can ping externally. Like I know IP addresses internally, uh, 10 dot, uh, three, it's my server. So I can connect to my server by getting those reply backs. That lets me know I can connect to my server. So I get an instant reply back from each, each, each. It sends out a packet and the server responds to it. So I know nowadays they're turning the ping option off on a lot of like web servers so it doesn't work on all of them but uh most of them it do i know google it does you could try this command at home ping.google.com and it'll reply back from their ip address so good to go um and just show you an example of them turning it off um and i know this one for a fact but aol.com they, they have their ping turned off for whatever reason I mean, it, it only comes back once, so uh, it really it fails every single time, see, 100%, 100% packets lost, as you can see right here, yeah, it doesn't respond to pings, um, but it, you know, it's a lot of other ones out there that respond to it, and I, I just kind of use it to, to check and see if I have network, internet connection, network connection, I always use Google, so. Good to go. Um, next command I want to go through is ifconfig, which shows you your network interfaces. Um, <clears throat> not your network interfaces, but your network adapters or whatever. And just show you some basic configuration for it. Um, so you can type in ifconfig, it'll show you all your, your, um, your network, uh, network adapters uh, on the system. Um, so as you can see, I have two wireless cords. Uh, this is one and this is the other. That's why I have IP address on my network, uh, two different IP addresses. But yeah, I have a, um, directional antenna plugs into this thing and also, uh, and also the built-in, you know, wireless cord built into it. So, but good to go. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty simple command. And, I'll, by the way, all these commands have a man page. 
so I'm not gonna go to each each one of them, but just to show you, uh, that's the man page. And here are the other options. You can uh, display a short list. You know, I mean, it's just different options. You can go through and read them, uh, check them out. But it shows, you know, your net mass and all that stuff. Um, also shows your IP version six. Um, so it's pretty simple IP address, yeah. And then, uh, so the next command I want to do is net stat. And this is a pretty good command. Um, it basically shows all your TCP network connections. Um, the in incoming and outgoing. Um, you know, you can display uh, round tables, um, uh, network interfaces, uh, and, you know, kind of like network protocol statistics, stuff like that. So pretty cool it's I mean it's, it's used to I use it to you know troubleshoot uh, if need be you know trying to find problems or whatever something's hogging traffic or a lot of traffic coming in you can you can find out what it is um, using this command and where it's going using this command so it's, it's pretty easy pretty simple um, Let's see, G is, you know, it's kind of a multicast network by the host. So it's pretty, gives you a lot of information. Like all it'll go through and show you all the connections based on it. So, and you can, you know, grep and all that to kind of narrow your search down to find out where your problem is, problems lie uh, but pretty good command they have a man page to uh, there you go you can go through and uh, it has examples uh, and all that different different um, and all the different options so you can go through and uh, check it out try to understand it um, okay so the next one I want to go through is uh, NS Lookup. And NS Lookup allows you to um, find out what the IP address is. So, based on the domain name. So, you have to put in some criteria. So, uh, let's say I want to look up um, Keep It Techie and find out what his IP address is. So, I could do NS Lookup Keep It Techie.com. And it will pull the IP address. So that's the IP address to keep it techie. Um, dot com. So pretty, pretty straightforward command. Um, you can put, you can do Google as well, I believe. I haven't done it in a while, but you can do Google. It'll bring up IP addresses. Yeah, it'll bring up the IP version six and and the IP version four address. So. So that's, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple uh, command, you know, and also if you know the IP address, you can, you can run that the opposite way and it'll tell you what the domain name is. So let's go uh, 192.168.10.3 and tell you what the name is, see? And that's my, my server upstairs here at the house. So, and that's the IP address for it. And so the next command I want to do is, and we're going to leave that information up there so you can see on the next command, uh, how the next command works. Um, and it's basically trace route. So trace route is, it'll show you all the hops that your, your computer takes to get to the IP address it's looking for. So uh, we can go trace route, keep it techie.com, and this will show us each each route that it takes to get to keep it techie.com. So I mean, it's a it's a good command, you know, to help you help you um you know find out find out if somewhere in your um, in your connection. There's a slowdown. You can find that out by looking at the times, you know, and just 
okay yeah this server is responding real slow or whatever you know it'll show you the times that it take and you can you can figure it out from there uh, how long it actually took um, to get to the next hop and, and all that but <clears throat> a lot of it's you know ISP and like yeah you can figure you can see what I got I got Chorter <laughs> Chorter.com I mean Chorter is what I got and you can see I'm in uh, Dallas Dallas it says Dallas that's not where I'm at but yeah um, that's what that looks like Dallas Texas but anyway you can kind of kind of follow the hops and, uh, and see how long it took oh and my reason for leaving that above uh, see the last hop is the IP address for keepatechie.com which we looked up where is it I know we just looked it up oh right here so yeah 192.18 148 and see 148 so yeah that's the last hop so just to show you show you um, kind of what it's doing but um so hopefully these uh commands that help you out if you just store in linux um they're pretty useful commands something i think everybody should know if you touching a uh, linux computer so um, but if you got any questions feel free to leave comments at the bottom um please like share subscribe to my videos i know i've been lacking um I actually got laid off my job recently, so I'm uh, going through the process of finding something else, uh, going to interviews and all that stuff, um, all that good stuff, but, um, so I kind of slowed up on videos because of that, but uh, I'm trying to get back into it, um, just bear with me, uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe, and keep it techie.